MalawiMusic.com. Nyimbo za Malawi. Oh, it's okay. Uh, right, it's okay. Judge. Welcome to the Malawi Music Podcast and you're with me, your host, Spyro, and I'm here with my partner, KYC. Yo, what's up, what's up? You know, and today in the studio, we have award-winning gospel rapper, Suffix. What's up, what's up? What's up, man? How are you? I, I feel like you guys are about to interrogate me. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but be comfortable. Yeah, yeah, yeah cool, no, cool, no, cool, no, no, no problem, man. Eh? <laughs> yeah, 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 feel free. So also. Suffix, guys, Suffix is one of the most outstanding gospel artists, not just rappers, artists in Malawi at the moment. Like, if you don't know Suffix, then you don't really follow gospel, the gospel yeah. side of things, even the urban side of things, because his impact is like something you just can't resist. So yeah, you found us here. Yeah, man. We have, we're about to have a uh, small chit chat with you. Sure. Yeah. Yo, Mr. Suffix. Yeah, man. Feel free. Welcome, man. I was up. Yo, Mr. Suffix. Yo. If I used to, to, to know you as a, as a secular, secular artist, Kali Kali manager. Okay. And yeah. then you change, you switch to, to gospel. Yeah, man. What motivated that? Well, that change. Um, uh, I got saved. I got saved, and 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 I think because I I, I still had the passion for music, yeah. so yeah, I just uh, I just had to roll with with gospel now. For real? Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. Um. And how was the how was the this, this gospel hip hop thing uh, helping in, in 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 spreading the the word of God among the youths out there? Well. Um, I would say uh, we, 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 we don't, like, our, our mission uh, doesn't stop or end on stage. Yeah, sure. Yeah, uh, I think we just use music as, as a tool to, you know, to maybe attract some people, you know. And, yeah, and, and, yeah. and mostly it's, it's one-on-one um, um, missions, one-on-one, yeah. on one, like, you know, uh, spreading the gospel, one-on-one on one with a person and, and, and all that. But uh, the impact is, is quite okay uh, right. as far as uh, uh, gospel music <coughs> is concerned, especially hip-hop. Mm. Yeah, man. So, yeah, I appreciate God is, is, is using this foolish thing. What do you, my, my youth saying out there, and you too, I've seen and did yeah. through this. Yeah, Kwabas. For real? Kwabas. All right. All right, mm. all right, Mr. Spell. Yeah, yeah. So Safik, yes, yeah. Sir. I've been following your music for for a while now. Yeah. Wow, I didn't know, man. Yeah, I, I didn't know. know. <laughs> <laughs> but awesome. but then yeah, there's something that changed from the time you did like uh, Denny Amigango. Yeah. Right to Kazuago Mamba. Yeah. Like there was a change in the branding. I get like it. the impact just went skyrocketed from that point yeah. to date. Like what what changed there? Is it management or is it sponsorship or is it what? Just let us know how the transition came from that point to right where you are right now. Yeah, uh, that's a good question. I think um, uh, in the first place we used to to feel like you know uh, you you because you're doing gospel hip hop you can market it. <coughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You can advertise or you can't do promos. You can do good artworks like Spiral does. <laughs> Exactly. So, yeah, so it was kind of whack, you know. Yeah. But then we felt like, you know, there's 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 too much talent in the gospel industry. So what do we do? What do we do? So okay, fine. I think the the, the only difference between uh, the secular side of music and the gospel side is just maybe the message, but everything yeah. is the same, you know. So we started branding ourselves and 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 like as as let's why because let's why is the is is, is uh, a team that's managing me. Okay. So yeah, that's what changed. Oh, so where's the team from? Is it Malawi? Yeah, yeah, it is. Uh, it's Bob Pondo who is behind it. Oh, he's, okay. he's Malawian, yeah. just that he used to be based in Zambia, but he's back. Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, okay. The name kind of sounds very familiar. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, sure. That's a good movement right there. So we're talking from your EP, Dethroned, the yeah. Dethroned EP. Yeah. We saw a lot of international collabs. Mm. And your current, your recent release, that's Vows, featuring yeah. Limo Blaze, who's yeah. Nigerian. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> like, is it the same movement that make, links you up with these artists, or they just recognize you, and then they holler at you to, like, do songs with you yeah in the in the first place i i used to uh, i i still look up to like um uh zambian gospel hip-hop artists yeah like pompey and mark for the four 
yeah, I remember in 2012, there's, you know, RJ? Yeah. He's, he's the guy who introduced me to those guys, like, okay, just okay, music. Okay, sure. So what I did, uh, there was there was this site, there's this site, it's Richards.com. Yeah. So I submitted my songs there. Yeah. That was in 2018, 2012, 2013. So that's when they recognized me. Yeah. And and, and the, the CEO for his Richards, uh, but it's kind of, you know, linked me up to Ajina, uh, Mark 44 and Pompey. So we started chilling in 2013. And in 2015, that's when Mark 44 reached out to me, like, dude, I want to uh, feature you in my album. Yeah. Yeah. And then he did, uh, like, a, a beat for me, just yeah. for free. Just for free. So no, that's you know, nice. Yeah, mutual benefit and stuff like that. So, yeah, that's what happened. Yeah, that's, really, that's really impressive, like, for people to recognize you out there. Yeah. And, like, actually highlight you and do collabs with you. Yeah. That's they recognize the talent that's in you and they recognize how you spread your message yeah. in a very good way. Uh, and that's a good thing. It's like it's like unifying the, the continent in terms of spreading the gospel. Yeah. It's something with something very good. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, yeah, sure. But then um Mr Mr. Suffix. Yes sir. You may have noticed something uh. in your songs. I mean the concerts actually. <clears throat> I know you dance gospel. Come yeah. on, oh. The, the concept Umapanga link as in Umapanga be link in Umapanga it's not just straight good Umapanga hit up to the gospel concept eh? I yeah. get I get what's the I mean what's the motive behind that yeah. is it like Umapanga link my, my listeners they are secular yeah. the my gospel listeners yeah. also at the same time yeah uh, for me it's, it's more of um, I, I don't do music for, for, for people in the church only. I do music for people in the streets as well. Yes. Everybody, you know, because Jesus is for everybody. Yeah, so, for everybody. yeah, so, um, I've, I've, I've tried to master the, the, like, okay, for me, it's, it's more of, if I'm doing my music, if an end believer listens to my music, yeah, he should or oh, they should appreciate the art side of music, and if possible, they should appreciate even the message as well. And even if the believers listen to the songs, they should appreciate the message, even though they don't appreciate the art side of music. So I work as an entrepreneur, a yeah. problem, a solution. So how 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 do I link the problem of maybe someone is addicted to drugs? How do I link that to the gospel? Yeah. That's that's the issue. Or maybe it is that's 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 actually the reason why you don't see a problem with working with a secular artist I don't I don't it's 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 a, it's a principal issue it's a conscious issue I think there's some other people that I respect they don't want to work with secular artists like yeah. for me it depends on 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 what's what's on the ground you know I yeah. can't just say yes I can just say no yeah sure exactly come on what's the relationship you were you will indeed my friends I could the dance hip hop gospel yeah. hip hop yeah and then I'm a kind of ready that she collaborate with secular, secular. artists yeah I mean, what's the relationship? Yeah, that's, that's, that's a good question. Yeah, uh, for us, it's, it's, it's we family, you know. In, in the family, uh, I, I don't I don't think you and Spyro you agree with a China J Jos. Yeah, yeah, But you respect your friendship still, you know. So for us, it's it's more of okay, let's respect our differences, but because our goal is the same, reaching out to the lost and, and everything. Yeah. But yeah, let's just. Uh, keep on doing the mission. All right. Sure. 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 Yeah. As long as the mission is moving forward. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So with my argument, I'm like, I can't argument. Ten arguments, you know, I'm Yeah. Yeah. So when it comes to, you're talking about family, eh? yeah. Um. I'm just gonna bring this out, like according to what spectators see out there. Mm. Not that we're we're trying to prove something. Yeah, yeah. We just wanna hear where you stand. Yeah. Like, the in Malawian gospel, especially like especially the urban side of things, mm. it's sort of divided into like two sides. Like, there's a side where they they preach against like living a worldly life uh-huh. and what what. Uh-huh. There's this kind of artist on that side, uh-huh. and there's the side that like put this value of success and whatever yeah, in yeah, the music yeah. and in front of the music. Yeah. Um, I don't, I don't want to mention the names, but you understand what I'm <laughs> saying. Did, yeah. <laughs> so where do you stand in these two categories? Okay, do you, colors, do yeah. you see it like that or you see it in a different way? I want you to say how you see it. Like yeah, it's yeah. No, there's no, there's no beef between yeah, yeah. any of the two camps yeah. or nothing like that. Well, I feel, I feel like, um, for me, uh, it's it's more of I believe in success. Yeah. I, I believe in 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 uh, confronting what what the world does. Yeah. Uh, but when it comes to issues to do with beef, I feel like you know I I can't um, I can't I can't 
I can't take part uh, of it because it's not my mission to to yeah. be to be like uh, always fighting with with each other. That's, yeah, that's I think that's that's the problem with uh, that we face mostly we Christians. It's it's more of when you're not doing what we believe in, you're yeah. you you you're forced into yeah, so yeah. like, and 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 to be honest, they're. People who are really into it just for success issues, yeah. just, yeah. just yeah. they all they they're concerned with is just let me be successful. Yeah, exactly. There are people like exactly. that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I get it. So, but then there's this song, yeah, patience number two. Yeah. Um, Zigoli is Yeah. Yeah. People like read their meanings into the song and they were like, it's a beef song towards the prophet. Major Bushi, yeah. yeah. I don't know how true that is, but yeah. then that's the speculation that's been going around. Mm. And then just after Ricky dropped, he remixed you on the song. Yeah. So I want you to say why, why, why? What's the message, real message behind this song? Is it yeah. a direct? Is it a direct, um, like word to the the prophet, the Malaya prophet, or there's a different message which is general, more general than what people think? Yeah. To to be honest, um, Pesha Namadingo never told me that it was. Uh, yeah. He was throwing jabs at at, at Bushi. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I I would say I don't know about that. Yeah. That all I would say is when he reached out to me, he's like, dude, we need to do a remix. Yeah. I was like, okay, cool, because I would relate with what he was saying in the song. Yeah, exactly. In the song. Yeah. Exactly. So so I had to you know remix it as well. No, okay, that's mm. that's that's very good. That's very good. Mm, um, Mr. Suffix. Yes, sir. How do you see the the future of 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 gospel? Hip hop in Malawi. Yeah, it's it's to be honest, it's it's growing. Yeah. Um, and and also I think we need to be careful because being on a spotlight as a gospel artist is very dangerous. Yeah. To be yeah. honest. I know you guys um, meet challenge. Yeah. Because because yeah. once. Like you, if you're on the spotlight, once you fall, it's like the whole world is is is, is just on you, you yeah, know. Yeah. So so you, we need to be careful, and and that's the reason why I would say, uh, the future of, of gospel hip hop is 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 in our hands in a sense that we need to submit to our leaders and and, and all that because yeah. when when we are uh, grounded enough, it's 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 easy for you to go out there. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, that's very true. Sure. So. Since your last release, are you planning on shooting a video for this song? That's vows. The vows. So, yes. so uh, the vows is, is is it wasn't like my song. Oh yeah. It, because this year I haven't released any song this year. Yeah, I get. It. I just that, was, uh, uh, that was yeah. Lemon Blazes. Okay. Idea. okay. Yeah, yeah. It so was we his did, idea. Yeah. So it's like okay, let's just say it's Lemon Blaze and Suffix, oh, okay. but it wasn't like my song. Oh, it's an him. and okay, it's like a full collaboration, exactly. not like somebody owns the song. No. Now we understand that. Yeah. So on the musical side, mm. I've seen, I've witnessed a number of wealthy activities, society activities. Yeah. That you're being you're being involved in, yeah. like just lay just laid out there and explain to us which particular activities that you've been involved in recently yeah. that are helping society yeah. to push um, either it's health movements or yeah. something like that. Just explain to us everything you're involved in so people can can understand what's it, what they're all about. Yeah. And everything. Yeah. So we um, there's there's first of all there's hip hop uh, online. Yeah. Um, it's was founded by I think it was. Um, Sam, yeah, who, Sam. And, and a friend. Um, uh, there's Darius. Yeah, I don't yeah. remember the, the name. So it's all about uh, sensitizing and, and people out there about the cancer issue. Yeah. Yes, and, and how we can, we can uh, uh, like, reach out to people and, and, and tell them uh, or inform them about how cancer starts and, and everything. Yeah. Yeah. So it's it's me and classic who are brand ambassadors. Yeah. But uh, I think we've 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 been been so quiet recently. Yeah. But sure. We're gonna come back soon. And there's uh, another project, the UNICEF one. Uh, yeah. Of uh, this, you know, Kim Diamonds. Kim, yeah, I know Kim Diamonds. Yeah. yeah. So Kim and I, we've, we've been uh, featured in a song uh, for the UNICEF Girl Child Education and, and all that. Yeah. Yeah, uh, it's going to be out soon. Okay. So I think okay. we're shooting a video this weekend. Okay, so that's a new movement. That's a new okay. movement okay. now. Yeah. yeah. And, and and also we did uh, with the maestros. Yeah. Uh, this Charles Kipenga, who, who I think was a co-founder. Okay. Yeah, we did as well the, the girl child issue as well yeah yeah now i understand that are you part of the amplified movement no i'm not a part of amplified okay, movement. yeah because yeah. people have been thinking yeah yeah yeah, yeah i'm not yeah, i'm not <laughs> okay okay yeah. that's that's okay that's sure. okay 
All right, okay. yeah. So where do you see yourself? You say, as you said, you haven't released any single today. Yeah. As in not today, but this year. This year. Uh, yeah. yeah. Like, what are? You, do you plan on releasing any single, or is it a full project or anything? Yeah, I'm. 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 Well, I'm working on something. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm. Right now, I'm working on my my first official 2017 single. It's gonna be out, I think, soon. soon okay. Soon so you heard that first on the Malai Music Podcast. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be out soon. Maybe next, next, maybe in June. I think in June. Yeah, yeah. So we'll stick to it. that. Sure, sure. <laughs> if it doesn't come through, we'll be like, suffix. <laughs> Where's the song? Where's the song? <laughs> <laughs> no, man, I'm gonna hit you on WhatsApp. No, yeah, sure. 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 Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. yeah. So that's that's all for this year, or there's uh, there's more. Coming. Yeah, there's 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 more coming. Yeah, yeah. there's more coming. Collabs, you know. Uh, uh, yeah. And all that projects. Yeah. That's yeah. true. Because your EP was successful. Appreciate like, it. Was, it was a success. Appreciate yeah. Are you going to move on to an album or you're still, you know, going, you're not going um, business wise yet? I might, I might be going there. I okay, might okay, be going okay, there. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. You feel you're, you're, the time is right yeah, now. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's, 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 that's cool. Sure, man. So do you have anything to say to your fans out there? Well, I would or say. Or I'll say your family. <laughs> <laughs> you know, people, people I, I you don't, don't consider I don't, them as fans, right? No, man. Yeah. <laughs> Let me be honest. I, I have fans. I can't, yeah. I can't lie. You I have, have fans. I have family. You know, some 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 even my my I'm to think that way. you a fan? you a fan? And I'm a fan. Yeah, you know, I'm a fan. Yeah, yeah. So, well, I would say I I. Uh, to be honest, I appreciate the uh, like the support and and man, it's it's hard for for someone to have maybe uh, ten or five thousand followers. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's yeah. it's really hard yeah. to convince people, especially my life. Yeah, hard, yeah, man. yeah. Yeah, so I really appreciate the support and and all that. Just be on the lookout for new uh, single and and new projects coming out soon. Sure. Oh, true, yeah. true, nice. But then before we before we leave, yeah. there's one thing I wanna uh, I wanna ponder upon, like as, uh, when it comes to gospel artists, mm. especially on the urban side. Yeah. Um, I'm a I'm a I'm a Salama art, gospel artist when it comes to acknowledgement, my awards. Yeah. But then, like, you're one of the few, very few artists that yeah. hasn't and has an award in the gospel category. Like, how do you feel about that? How do you feel like, like now people are really recognizing urban gospel music yeah. like a lot in Malawi? How do you feel about that? It's it's really uh, uh, humbling, man. It's really amazing to be honest. And 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 when I was when I was I, when I was even nominated for the uh, yeah. UMP hours, I was I was like, wow, man. I, I didn't I didn't. <laughs> It coming because yeah. yeah I've seen it happening like uh, you know uh, just automatically being a Christian artist it's, it's more of you know we have nothing to do with you guys yeah. Yeah. so yeah I appreciate like people like you that you 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 don't really judge a person based on the message yeah. all yeah. you say is okay let's appreciate the talent that's there the talent is there that's sure. true, that's true. Yeah. but how do you feel about awards being combined at an award show secular and gospel awards um, Personally, not yeah, publicly yeah. or generally. Okay, in, in, in what way? Like, in what way? How do you feel? Because, like, we know, um, Kunjago, they don't really combine gospel and secular yeah, awards. Secular, yeah. Yeah, but then here it's combined in most award show, shows. I understand because we have a few award shows, but then how do you feel? Is it supposed to be separate or there's no problem with it at all? Well, yeah. I think BET has best contemporary. Oh, yeah, so, yeah. BET, BET yeah. is one of the few that has yeah, it. Yeah, I think, I think it's, for me, it's, 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 it's okay. We don't need yeah. to categorize stuff. I think... The issue is is it's if if it's hip hop, it's hip hop. Exactly. Yeah. Let's do hip hop. Yeah, that's that's the point. Sabbath right does hip hop. Fredo does hip hop. Marcy does hip hop. It's the same. It's, it's still hip hop. Yeah. It's, it's just yeah. the message that's different. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So exactly. we don't need to categorize stuff. Yeah. Understood. Yeah. yeah. That's understood. So, guys, you've heard from Suffix today. He's he's took out time to come to have a chat with us yeah. and let us know a few things about himself and his music. I hope you guys really enjoyed what he had to say. Yeah. One more thing for you. You're done. Done, man. I'm yeah. done. Unless, unless if you're not done. No. <laughs> no, we're done for now. Unless we call you back next time. Okay. No problem. <laughs> so for me, Spiral, KYC, and Suffix, we out. Yeah. Yes. You are special, no. I am serious, so I know.